Hey everybody, and welcome to the triumphant return of the J76 Gaming Podcast. I am your host, Jimmy Wild, coming to you from an all-new location. This is Studio 76, aka my spare bedroom, uh, in East Lansing, Michigan. It's a little bit of a move. Um, and in case you're wondering what's been going on, like where have you been? Like I know all three of you are wondering, like where have you been? Well, it's been pretty busy. Um, not making excuses, just kind of saying what's going on but anyways um you can see pulling up the old website uh in august i thought that i would be back in september and so the 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 short version here in the channel update really is like what's been going on well i changed jobs i moved across the country and i bought a house uh which i completely underestimated how much time and effort each one of those would take and also how much work would be after you buy a house. So anyway, so we're in the middle of renovations here, um, trying to get everything set up, but, but Hey, I got, uh, I got a camera, I got a microphone and you're going to listen to what I have to say. <laughs> so what's, uh, so what's going on? What do we want to talk about today? Well, I kind of want to talk about, uh, a lot of news. There's lots of stuff going on. We just had the game award. So we had, you know, a couple of major announcements. So we'll go over that. Um, some hardware news, um, some game DLC coming out, that sort of thing. And then we'll get into the main topic. And the main topic is, you know, no life in a game or games that just take so much time that you don't have time to do anything else. So we're going to talk about that. Um, but before we get into all of that, just a little bit of business, um, go ahead and like and subscribe if you like. I would appreciate that. It means a lot to us little guys and the little channels. Um, I have a link below for Discord, the J76 Gaming Discord. It's kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. So come on in, help me liven it up. It's mostly just me posting like cool stuff that I find and then, you know, hopefully uh hopefully you can add some stuff that you think is cool and uh let's liven it up. Let's build this uh build this Discord, build this community. And also I'm trying to stream on Twitch. Um I'm trying to work out a new schedule. I was starting with Mondays and Wednesdays, but you know, that's kind of happening or not happening, but I'm doing my best. Um, but anyways, so Monday, and Wednesday on Twitch, come on and hang out. Once again, link will be in the description below. And I think that's it. I'll just shut up for now and let's get into the news. All right. So in the news, what do we got? We're going to start with the game news. And unless you're living under a rock, there was this huge Unreal 5 and uh, Matrix Awakenings. Uh, tech demo and I won't play much of it. You can go ahead and grab this, but uh, um, it's uh, it's pretty crazy that we have a virtual Keanu, a virtual uh, that uh, you really can't really tell the difference. <laughs> but anyways, go check that out. Um, that's uh, it's kind of a big deal. I mean, Unreal Five is beautiful. It's got a lot of potential, and then of course, um, what's going to be able to run it? I mean, this is going to look great. But will PlayStation 5, will an Xbox be able to run it? Or are we talking like 4,000 series uh, GPUs on PC to uh, <laughs> to actually run this stuff? But whatever. So but that's a big deal. Go ahead and check that out. That was uh, that was really fun. Um, and then, oh, man. Oh, man. Finally, some news on Hellblade 2, Senua Saga. Now, Hellblade, the first Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice, is probably one of the most slept on games I think because it's gorgeous it's fun and it's intense and I just I don't know I can't say enough good things about it um, so I'm really excited for two this looks amazing I mean I don't know it's just unbelievable it's just unbelievable that we finally have some footage uh, so check that out in the link below. And I should point out also the link below. When I say link below, I'll have a link to my website, which will have all of the links. So there'll be one link in the description and that will take you to all of the links below or that we're going to talk about today. So anyways, and if you're like, Hey, how come you're not talking so smooth right now? It's like, I'm flying without a net. I don't have a script. We're just running, but that's right. Um, also we got star Wars eclipse, which I haven't even watched anything of this. I'm not going to lie because hear me out. The anticipation and the excitement of seeing a new star Wars game 
is a lot. My little tiny brain can't necessarily handle it because, because I'm worried that it's not going to be very good because we don't have a really good track record. Now fallen order was pretty good. And I'll, I'll give you that. Um, but, uh, the star Wars universe has kind of been a little topsy turvy for a while. So hopefully this will be good. But anyway, so I'm kind of like preparing myself mentally to watch the, uh, you know, watch the trailer and yeah, but anyway, so if you want to watch it, go watch it right away. I'm still, I'm still working on it. Um, also we got a little bit of news on dragon age four. So we have this, uh, you know, this kind of community, uh, celebrate, but down at the bottom, we got a little speaking of building new worlds, still hard at work on building the next single player focus experience for dragon age excited for next year. So we can talk more about what we're working on it. So that's cool. And then they got a couple of short stories you can check out there too. So dragon age looking forward, looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. That's a, that's a really good series that I played quite a bit of, but didn't, I didn't give as much time as I should have given to it, which I don't know, whatever regret gamer regret. It's not like these games disappear. So I can always go back and play them some more. All right. So speaking of games that didn't get enough time for me, we got a new star ocean, the divine force. Um, I love Star Ocean and I've played not enough of it. It's embarrassing if I were to say how much time I've actually spent playing Star Ocean for how much I actually love the games. Uh, I mean, it's basically Final Fantasy. Do you like Final Fantasy games? You're going to like Star Ocean. Like, come on. But, uh, but anyways, so my goal is to work on the Star Ocean backlog in my game backlog and be ready for this in 2022 we just got a coming 22 2022 we don't have any dates as far as i know yet but anyway so we got that and we got a dead space remake um this uh this is a long video but uh the developers are talking about that so if you want to check that out that's cool i'm not a de dead space guy but i have plenty of friends that do like dead space so that's interesting um and i think Actually, I think I classified this as game news also. Uh, so Xbox, what was it? Xbox Game Pass, Game Pass for PC got renamed to just PC Game Pass, which I'm still going to argue is one of the best, best investments that you can make for, for gaming. The Game Pass is just unbelievable. It's so unbelievable that, and actually I don't have a link to this, but Sony is working on their own Game Pass. Um, it's about time. But do we really want to spend like, I don't know, 10 bucks, 15 bucks times two a month for both platforms? I don't know. But anyways, is it worth it? Yeah, probably. If you really get the time to it, um, to play the games, it's definitely worth it. But our topic later <laughs> about no life in games, that's, uh, that's going to be the contradiction to this, uh, to this, um, Right. Yes. Also game news and Walker. Hey, did you hear final fantasy 14 and Walker? Um, it started with early release on early access on December 3rd, I think. And then on December 7th was the actual release and nobody knows because you can't really play because the server queues are hours and hours and you can't get in. But, um, my buddy actually plays quite a bit of Final Fantasy 14, and he was like, dude, good thing you're not trying to log in because it sucks. And I'm like, yeah. Um, but anyway, they're working on it. All right. Also, we have... <laughs> I thought this was funny because we have this potential law that would work on price gouging and the scalper bots and all of that stuff for, for toys for Christmas. And... My first reaction to this was, was it was like, hooray, it's about time. But it was also like, okay, we've dealt with 18 months of trying to get graphics cards and CPUs and, and that sort of thing. And now, because Christmas toys are being impacted, now we're going to have a law? Come on. I mean, it's about time and it's good. 
but really it took toys the rest of us anyway i'm just gonna start i'm just gonna start ranting so we'll stop but that's uh <laughs> so that's where we're at all right so let's go ahead and get into the hardware news and i'm gonna start off the hardware news with kind of an uh, this is a little out of date but but bear with me so for cyber monday the 5800x dropped to 314 dollars this is a steal y'all this is the this is like the 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 slept on cpu that everyone should be looking for like if you're in the if you're in the market if you're building a pc i mean these are like 340 dollars right now on amazon and it's not even a sale they're just like please someone buy these um it's crazy the 5600x is 300 dollars for an extra 40 bucks you get two more cores I mean that's like if you're but if you're like okay my budget for a CPU is three hundred dollars well you know what skip a couple meals and drop the extra forty bucks and get the fifty eight hundred it's it's crazy but anyways um yeah so that, that's my fifty eight hundred X speech um but anyway uh yeah so all right so I have a lot about Nvidia coming up in the next couple of next couple of things here I got some thoughts. So we got like a 3090 Ti coming out in January. We got, a, there's actually a couple more um, coming out. Also some lower models, some refreshes, whatever. And I kind of just want to say, okay, the 3090 Ti is really just NVIDIA dunking on AMD, really. It's just like, oh, you can't keep up with the 3090. chunk here's a 3090 Ti, which is fine. Um, but I mean, I really just feel like, we got enough GPU options. Can you just maybe produce the ones that we already can't buy? You know? Anyway. So there's that. And then we got a 2060 12 gig, which, I mean, 12 gig is better than 6 gig, but this is a 2060. You know, it's a 2060. This is not a GPU that requires 12 gig of RAM. But there has been some talk that you know this start, this type of card is really targeted towards the miners so hopefully the miners will buy these cards and leave other cards for the rest of us but we all know what's going to happen every single video card is going to be sold anyways sold out anyways which whatever okay so speaking of more things uh that they should just be selling <laughs> what they already can't supply is uh or is the 4000 series so we kind of got so this tweet comes out about 4090 4080 4070 blah, blah blah in 2022 and that's fantastic but once again you already can't produce what you're trying to sell like what people are you can't produce enough of what you're trying to sell and people are trying to buy right now and i don't know is that going to be better with the 4000 series i doubt it i mean come on this and they're doing it again you know they're doing it again if this is true i mean these are all rumors so if this is true they're going to drop a 4090 and a 4080 and the 4080 ti is going to be the best buy of it all it's going to be basically a 4090 for i don't know what 75 percent of the price 70 percent of the price so Anyways, we're going to play this game again that we play every every series. It's like the 4090 drops, or, you know, it used to be the Titan. Um, the 4080 drops, and then we're just going to sit here and wait, wait and wait, and then we'll have the rumors for the 4080 Ti, and then that's what we'll try to get. And by we, I mean me and a lot of other gamers that aren't going to fall for this 4090 for $2,000 plus type of thing. But anyway... So there's that. Now, to go along with this, I kind of wanted to go back a couple months to something that came out was this graphics cards with a 600 watt power connector. So I'm a little worried here because that's a lot of power. <laughs> so now, mind you, the current generation of graphics cards they have like a 250 watt power draw like out of the box but 
their connector will go up to 400 watts, I think. So we're talking about a 50% increase. And if you're thinking like, oh, what's the big deal? Well, are we really, really progressing the graphics card industry by just adding more and throwing more power at it? I don't think that's a good a good way to go. Like, we need to be working on getting things more efficient so we can keep cramming the same amount of power in there and get more use out of it or more, more out of it, but whatever. So, and here, here's the thing. So this is pushing power supplies. I mean, I'm already running a thousand watt power supply. I don't need to run a thousand watt power supply. You can get by with an 850 or a 750. It doesn't matter, but I'm already running thousand watt power supplies in my uh, PCs and those are expensive, you know? So now you're looking at, let's, let's, let's just say you're looking at $2,000 for a new graphics card, 1500, whatever. And you're going to have to spend two to $300 on a power supply because I'm not buying a, if, if I'm going to invest in a GPU, I'm not going to spend 50 bucks on a cheap power supply. So anyways, the point of this is let's, well, let's work on getting things more efficient so we don't have to throw just crazy amounts of power at it. And that's actually another reason I stopped overclocking my uh, GPUs and CPUs just because of the power draw. I mean, there's just to get 10% performance increase is a drastic amount of power change. So I just don't do it. And where am I going with all of this? I don't know, but here's the thing. So I found this, uh, energy consumption calculator and it basically what I want to say is, so we're looking at 400 Watts on the current power connector. And let's say, I mean, we're not pulling 400 Watts. Like I said, it's like 250, but here's the deal. Your whole system is pulling 400 to 500 Watts. So let's just, it doesn't matter where we're starting. We'll just start here. And let's say we run for eight hours a day. Boom. So we're talking 3.2 kilowatt hours a day, 96 kilowatt hours a month. Now let's pull out handy dandy calculator here. So right now my power is like 12 cents kilowatt hour times 96 for a month. Okay. So that's $11 and 52 cents a month just to play games just the power to play the games. And that doesn't include the power delivery, which is another like 50% on top of that. So, you know, whatever. So let's, but let's just, we'll just stay in the base number here. So we got that. Now let's kick that up to 600 Watts. So now we have 12 cents times, uh, oops, 144. Now we're at $17 a month. Plus, like I said, another 50% on top of that to uh, just for the delivery. That becomes, that's a lot of money a year just to power your computer to play video games. And this, now I'm taking some liberties here because this is assuming that you're running eight hours a day, which I mean, for me is realistic. Maybe it's not for everyone, but whatever. Um, and we're talking that you're running your GPU at 100%, which if we're being honest with each other, there's a lot of people that are running at 100% GPU all the time. And that's because we have high refresh rate, 1440p, we have 120, 144 hertz, uh, 4k now. And I mean, the cards already can't do that. So they're maxed out. And are you going to tell me that you know, the 4,000 series is just going to magically run 4K at 144 hertz or 1440p at like, what are they, 240 hertz, just like ultra graphics, which if you're not playing all ultra graphics, are you really playing a game? I don't know. I don't think so. But anyway, the point of this is where's this power? Like this is expensive and where's this power coming from? And let's, let's put it this way. So my house, the wiring, not amazing. So I'm a little bit worried about drawing so much power. I've ranted way too long and I'm going to stop, but 
that's that's uh that's where we're at all right now that that rant is out of the way let's go ahead and get into some uh, game updates and uh, dlc news so we already kind of touched on it but endwalker uh is, is out now for final fantasy 14 and i'm hoping yeah i don't think i'm gonna get into it today i might try but um but yeah this is gonna be a uh this is going to be like one of those things. Like once I put Diablo two down, I'm going to try to get some more time in Endwalker, assuming that we can get in with the servers. Um, so speaking of other games that take way too much of your time, uh, just a quick touch on final fantasy 11. Uh, I'm super excited for this, uh, master levels. So they're actually, well, they're adding more quests to, um, for, you know, like story quests, which is great. Uh, we're still leading up to the 2020, uh, 2022, uh, 20th anniversary. So supposedly they got some cool thing in the work for that. That'll be great. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we got master levels. So master levels, just very short version is, it's just another grind on top of like everything that you've already done. So you did the, uh, you started with your merit points and then you went into capacity points or job points. And then now we have master levels once you've finished all that. So I'm excited to get into it, but anyway, if you're, if you've never played final fantasy 11 and you're, I don't know, let's say if you're over 30 <laughs> and I don't want to pick on kids, but I don't, I think that there's a, there's a distinct group of people that would like final fantasy 11 and it's probably not for the younger folks only because it's just a different play style. So it's not, it's not like if you like final fantasy 14, you're probably not going to love 11 because it's just, it's a completely different play style. Like 14 is button mashing and psych and, and rotations and blah, 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 and positioning and blah, blah, blah. 11 is a lot slower and, Anyways, I don't need to ramble about 11, but it's my favorite game, so. All right, what else we got? So we have this mysterious graphic that uh, or image that showed up on Twitter that uh, kind of unanimously, the whole all of internet went, hey, this is, must be a, a new image from a, screen, or a, from a Returnal DLC. So Returnal was a PS5 exclusive and it is very, very fun. And it's beautiful until you die. And then you start over because it's a rogue, a roguelike game. And I don't like those games, but Returnal is really fun. <laughs> so it's a, it's a really fun game that's ruined by roguelike mechanics. But if you like that type of thing, then you should check out Returnal. But anyway, so supposedly there is DLC in the works. Um, also... We have a rumor on Assassin's Creed Valhalla getting a DLC um, and an expansion. Okay, that's cool. I don't play Assassin's Creed, but I know people that do, that really love it. So maybe there's more coming. So check that out. Um, all right. So City Skylines. This is one of those things where I loved SimCity. I could spend so much time doing that and city skylines is a great game. It's one of those games that I just didn't give enough time to, which I really wish that I would have, but we got an airport expansion, uh, uh, or DLC coming. So that's kind of cool. Uh, maybe in 2022, I'll get some more time to play city skylines, but anyway, uh, what else we got now? This is kind of old news, but I just wanted to bring it up again. Cyberpunk 2077 the roadmap kind of got pushed out into 2022. So sure. And, and the reason that I bring this up is because we just went over like the, the year anniversary of launch or whatever. Um, but it's really cyberpunk has been on my brain a lot lately. Like I really want to get back to it even with or without an update. I don't care um, because I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing it. So yeah, so I want to get back to it. But anyways, so uh, so the next patches got pushed out. All right, big deal, whatever. I'm still holding out hope, you know, not to go back to um, No Man's Sky, but I'm still, like, I still give everyone the benefit of the doubt. They can turn this around and turn this into a great game that lasts four years. So we'll see. Hopefully they can. 
All right, that's it for game updates and DLC. All right, so what do we have next? We have our up gaming, up, up gaming, upcoming game releases. So this is one of those, uh, one of those things. Is like, is it really releasing? So we got Final Fantasy VII remake coming to PC, but it's coming to Epic's Game Store only. So is it really releasing if it's exclusive to Epic Games? For me, that means no, because I still actively boycott Epic Game Store. As long as they continue to buy exclusives, I'm out. So if this ever makes it to Steam, then great. Then it will actually release on PC. But for those of you that aren't a big a d dick as I am and don't care about Epic Games, <laughs> whatever, then yeah, then Final Fantasy VII is coming to PC. Um, also... We have Monster Hunter Rise is coming to PC on Steam, thankfully, um, January 12th. We have God of War PC is coming to Steam on January 14th, so that's good. And we have a Pokemon Legends Arceus, Arceus, I actually don't know how to say it, but um, that's coming January 28th to the Nintendo Switch. Um so yeah, that's what we got coming up there. I mean, there's a lot of games coming out, but these are kind of like the highlights I would I would say for December and and, and January. Um, so yeah, there's that. And actually, you know what I forgot? We're gonna wind it back for a second because uh, let's do this because I missed. Let's see. There is an expansion or DLC to uh, Kingdoms of Amalur. Now I need to find... Here we go. Okay, so we'll actually just go ahead and bring this over. I just grabbed the first page, so whatever. Uh, Re-Reckoning uh, DLC. So this is another one of those games that I did not spend enough time on. I did play quite a bit on it, but not, I never finished it, but anyway, so this is coming, and I don't know if we have a date for this yet, crap, but anyways, it's coming, pay attention, um, I think it's coming out actually December 16th, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, but anyway, so look out for that, that'll be cool, and that's it for now of the of the news type stuff. And then we'll let's go ahead and get into our main topic, which is no life in games. All right, here we are. Here we are. Main topic, no life in games. Now, also now you can actually see more of the background, more of my, my studio, AKA bedroom. Um, but, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of games that are coming out and they come out like rapid fire all year long, right? And let's forget for a second that we have years and years and years and years in console generations and PC history of games that a lot of us never finished. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'm speaking to myself here, but, you know, there's a lot of games that we didn't finish or didn't get enough time to play. Uh, so, but yeah, so we have a lot of games coming out and that's great. That's fantastic. But, what really gets me going here is like who has the time for this right now before before I got a house and spent a lot of time working on the house like I had plenty of time for gaming this year was a little bit of a anomaly which I already went into but anyway um, but I mean it's not unrealistic for me to have six hours a day to play games and then on the weekends have double or triple that, you know, it's not unreasonable for me to put in an 18 hour shift on a game on a Saturday. Let's, let's, you know, let's say it that way. Anyways. So here we have the game that really brought this up for me is Diablo two resurrected. I mean, I probably have, I'm probably pushing 300 hours in that game already. Well over 200 anyways. And that's just since September when it came out. And this game is, 
fun, kind of, but it's also ruining my life. You know, it's one of those things where you spend all your time playing it and it's just a grind. And is it fun? Sometimes. But Diablo 2 is like notoriously rough on your schedule because it takes forever to find stuff. When you say, okay, let's say you're playing and you want a particular item. It is not uncommon for someone online to say, oh, sure, just run, you know, 3,000 lower Kurost runs and you'll, you'll get what you want. When you can classify time and saying, oh, just do one thing 3,000 times and you'll have a decent chance of getting what you want, well, that 3,000 times is like times two minutes a run or whatever, right? So, I mean, that's a lot of time just to get one item. And it's actually, who, like, that's not fun anymore. Like I've talked to, or I've talked to, I've read online people talking about, Oh, well I just put on a podcast or I just put on TV show. I put on a movie and then I mindlessly grind away for this stuff. I'm like, but is that fun? Like, cause the fun of that is watching the TV show or the podcast. It's not playing the game. That's fun. Um, so that stresses me out a little bit. Because remember the days, remember the good old days when a game would come out and you would play it and then you'd be like, okay, that's done. Put it on the shelf and you move on to the next game. You know, you could spend a weekend maybe. I remember getting a, getting games, playing it for the weekend and being like, all right, that was good. I enjoyed it. I got a good two and a half days worth of uh, playtime out of it and then I finished it I put it on the shelf move on like it could be a week it could be a month like whatever whatever your time frame is but they had a finite end I kind of miss those days you know <laughs> like right now and this is embarrassing but my list of completed games for I don't know the last 10 years is embarrassingly small it's like I don't know if it's counted on one hand type of thing, but it's it's not a lot of games that I actually finished. And that's and that's unfortunate because it's unfortunate because I spent the money on the game. And it's unfortunate for the developers that spent all that time working on the game. But then here I am disrespecting them by playing their game for 5 hours or whatever and then moving on to something else that you know that something like a Diablo 2 that you can spend thousands of hours playing and not be done. So anyways, I actually, <laughs> I wrote this down <laughs> and it just like, I kind of, I think about it now, but like staring longingly at my game collection is like my new, new pastime. I'm just like, Oh, remember when I used to play those games and then click, 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 I'm playing Diablo 2. So anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know, blah, 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 Diablo 2. So but Diablo 2 is just an example, right? So we have plenty of other oppor or opportunities or examples of games that are really, you know, when I say it's disrespectful to not to, to buy a game and then not play a game, it's disrespectful to the developers. It's also kind of disrespectful right now in return when games come out and they expect you to only play that game. And that game is designed to hook you so that you only want to play that game and you want to play it constantly. And more than likely, they want you to put some money into microtransactions. But that's not the point of this rant. The rant is really just the disrespect of your people's times, really. So another relevant topic right now, or, or example right now, is Final Fantasy fourteen Because I've been kind of dipping a toe back into Final Fantasy 14 and it's it's a lot <laughs> there is a lot and it's overwhelming to be honest and it's not one of those games where you can play that and something else like playing Final Fantasy 14 and Diablo 2 just isn't going to work <laughs> you know what I mean so but that's an MMO so that's 
maybe that's a bad example. Like we all know MMOs are designed to keep us playing forever. Um, but Final Fantasy 11, like I said, another MMO, that's my favorite game. I want to play that all the time too, but I keep picking up Diablo. Um, but there's plenty of other games. Like I said, there's plenty of other options, uh, opportunities to w- spend your entire life playing stuff like destiny, uh, division, division one and two division two, maybe not as big of a hit as the, as the first division, but still it's one of those games where you play forever. Um, Diablo three is another one where you just keep going and they got a season every couple of months and you just keep playing, blah, blah, blah. Um, like I had to quit destiny Two. destiny two is like a job. Like I would just, I felt like I was like, okay, I end my work day and I was like, punch out. I mean, I don't punch out, but you know what I mean? And then it was like, punch in time to play destiny two. And I mean, when it's a job, it's not as fun anymore. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't, I just, I don't know. I just don't have that time especially when I have so many other games, like I said, to play, but I mean, so what do we do? Like, how do, like, how do we get out of this? You know, how do we get out of this? Like spending so much time on a game and, and really experiencing all of the other games, like picking up a game, like Kana bridge experience. That was on my most, like a year ago, that was on my most anticipated games list for 2021. And I've played zero minutes of it. So, so yeah. So, so how do we fix this? I don't know. I mean, really, I think it's just going to have to be better time management. I'm going to have to force myself to put games down like Diablo 2. I want to keep playing Diablo 2, but I can't put like 40 hours a week in Diablo two, especially when that 40 hours a week of Diablo two gets you like one drop where you're like, Ooh, that was interesting. Maybe, Oh, it rolled really bad. So that kind of sucks. So I guess on to the next 40 hours and maybe I'll get it again or get another one, but whatever. I'm not trying to be negative here. <laughs> I just want to say like, I just need to put it down. Like I can say, you know, Monday nights, like I'm going to try, I've been trying to stream on Monday nights on Twitch for, um, I call it Monday night in hell where I play Diablo two in hell, in hell difficulty, which, which is what, I mean, that's where most of the farming happens anyways. But, um, anyway, so that's what I've been trying to do. So maybe I only play Monday nights. Maybe I play Thursday nights also, but the rest of the time during the week, I got to play something else. I got to force myself to put Diablo two down. And then if I can actually log into final fantasy 14, play some 14, play some 11, um, get to that backlog, play kingdoms of Amalur and get up to the point where I'm like, actually can experience the DLC, uh, and then the expansion and then Cana bridge of spirits. What else have I got? You know, I got everybody golf or everybody's golf. Everyone's golf on PlayStation. It's a PS4 game. Freaking love that game. I've played maybe two rounds, <laughs> you know, like I love that series of games. Um, it was, uh, what was it? Uh, it was hot shots golf. That's what it was. It was hot shots golf on the previous PlayStation. So, but on PlayStation four, it's everybody's golf or whatever. Um, but yeah, I want to play that. Also <laughs> speaking of games that you play forever, <laughs> I got the Skyrim anniversary edition, which I don't know why I needed to spend $20 for stuff in Skyrim again. <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, I got that. Uh, and I started that, I played it for maybe an hour and then I was like, Oh, time to play some Diablo. So anyway, I don't know where I'm going with all of this. It's just really just, you know, these games are designed to take all of our time. And I think that's a bad thing. I, we really need to get out there, play other games and remember that games are supposed to be fun, not job. I should not be at the end of my podcast complaining about playing games not being fun like that shouldn't be it i should be talking about how much fun i had playing games not how much fun i didn't have anyways i'm gonna get out of here because i don't know how long this video is but it's probably gonna be longer than anyone wants so i'm gonna shut up and i will see you all next time